Welcome to Beyond the Press Release, a production of GORCOM in which we speak with small cap executives about recent important developments. With us today, again, I'm happy to have Frank Smeek. He's President and CEO of KWG Resources that trades on the stock symbol KWG and where it trades is the subject of what we're going to be discussing today. Uh, the company just the other day announced that they extended their black horse option, had to make some share issuance uh, payments via share issuance, which triggered some minimum selling rules. And, uh, and the company announced that it's going to be delisting from the TSX Venture Exchange and move over to the Canadian Securities Exchange. So here to talk about that more is Frank. Frank, welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you. We're happy to be here. All right. So there's two big pieces of news here. Uh, one of them being the extending the option, I think, is normal course business. Uh, got to make your third payment. Had to, had to issue shares to FanCamp. Uh, but what necessitated this delisting from the TSX Venture and the move over to the Canadian Securities Exchange? Um, the, the, uh, the Venture Exchange has a minimum uh, listing price or minimum issue price uh, below which they won't uh, list a, a reporting issue or a list of company shares for trading. Um, I think currently it used to be 10 cents uh, some time ago with the uh, uh, the the uh, illiquidity in the in the junior markets they reduce that to five cents. Uh, they can reduce it even more in certain circumstances if it's a um, an, an exempt uh, uh, private placement to existing shareholders, for example. So um, we made application to use one of the basis of exemption because our, our we, we recently had the liquidation of a of a six point four percent position in the in the outstanding shares of our company by a, um, a New York. Um, uh, mutual fund, and uh, that's driven the price down to uh, two, two and a half cents. So consequently, we couldn't uh, issue the shares to make the option payment um, at the minimum listing price of five cents, and we made application to do it at uh, two cents, and the venture exchange uh, was unable to find uh, wiggle room in, in, the, uh, uh, in their policies to uh, enable us to do that. So some years ago, we had also lifted the company shares on the uh, Canadian Securities Exchange, and uh, it just was an opportune time now to um, leave behind the cost and the difficulty of uh, of uh, maintaining our listing on the TSX Venture Exchange and move to the uh, Canadian Securities Canadian Securities Exchange. The the recently, I think, as recently as a, as a few weeks ago. Um, all of the uh, discount brokers uh, are now on the CSE system, and um, the the it's something actually the world was waiting for because before that it was it was difficult to trade uh, junior company shares in particular on the uh, Canadian Securities Exchange, um, and and costly as a result. So now uh, all the uh, all the discount brokers are online with Canadian Securities Exchange. So uh, for our shareholders. Um, the the uh, liquidity and offerings and uh, and bids that they are accustomed to in KWG shares should continue, um, you know, as a whole cloth uninterruptedly. Um, it's just that the shares will no longer trade on the on the TSX Venture Exchange. They uh, they will also continue to trade over the counter. Um, KWG has has been uh, its shares have been trading over the counter in the U.S. market for many many years. And um, also, uh, they trade on the uh, Frankfurt Stock Exchange in Europe, where they've been listed for many, many years. Uh, one thing uh, perhaps a lot of KWG shareholders don't realize, and I guess maybe what you're having is uh, maybe you see some potentially some separation anxiety, thinking that uh, moving from the TSX venture to the Canadian Security Exchange is a move down or something, when in fact, uh, what a lot of people don't realize now, maybe years ago, when you when you had when you when you got your listing on the CSE, it was still new and fresh and uh, still working out a lot of its uh, a lot of its ramp up kind of things. But uh, now yeah. the liquidity on the CSE is is tremendous, and uh, and investors. Uh, I'm not sure if you know this, but investors know um, all the medical marijuana stocks have been uh, listed on the CSE since that industry broke out uh, at the beginning of 2014. Liquidity has been unbelievable. Volume, uh, absolutely no uh, uh, investors there haven't missed, haven't skipped a beat. So, uh, you know, can, I guess that reassures KWG investors that they're not going to they're not going to miss a beat either when it comes to uh, the act of buying and selling KWG shares. 
Well, um, you know, I, I, I hope it does. Um, they need, um, they, they certainly, it appears as though they need a little bit of reassurance. Uh, you know, we have to use, unfortunately, uh, we have to use uh, some of these words to accurately describe um, what we're doing in, in informing the public in the press releases that we have to put out when material events occur. And um, the word delisted, you know, is just uh, fraught with peril for most people. It, it's a technical term. Uh, it, it, and, and I think some of, just by reading our blogs, I think some of our, uh, more than a few of our shareholders uh, thought that, the, you know, the end of the world was coming, um, whereas it's, it's a simple technical term. It means we're no longer listed on the, on the TLX Venture Exchange, but we're, we continue to be listed on um, uh, two other exchanges, uh, one in Canada, one in Europe, and, and over-the-counter um, in, the, in the U.S., um, I was uh, somewhat aware of the medical marijuana uh, phenomenon and the liquidity on the CSC. Uh, the, the CSC, I think, um, is a model. Uh, I'm, I'm delighted that they have stayed the course and survived as long as they have. Uh, their model is um, uh, to uh, not regulate the issuer with their own policies, but let the Securities Act um, of the province where the issuer uh, is domiciled do that. And I, I think that is, you know, going back to basics, that's, that's the original idea of a, of a listed stock exchange. Um, w with the consolidation of the Montreal, uh, Calgary, Vancouver um, uh, exchanges with the, uh, initially the CDN uh, Junior Stock Exchange in, uh, in Ontario, uh, we, we've, we've had a, an evolution of things which have gone the other way, much more regulation. The policy manual of the TSX Venture Exchange is, uh, is, is almost the size of, uh, of the uh, New Testament. It, it, uh, <laughs> it's, you know, it's, and and it, it, the cost of uh, trying to comply with this and um, uh, manage your affairs in such a way that you don't get offside with the, these listing policies is very, very high. The fees are very high. Every time you turn around and you need their permission for something or to confirm that you're complying with the policy, you write them a letter and you've got to send them a check for uh, $565, I think it is. It may be higher than that now, but it, it's just the fees are, are endless. So there's an annual sustaining fee based on the number of shares you have outstanding. In the case of KWG, that, that's quite a lot. We have a lot of shares outstanding, as um, many people uh, uh, who follow us are very aware of. And uh, so we're, we're kind of happy not to be able to, uh, or to be able to not have to bear those costs going forward and, and not have to um, invest the management time and the, uh, the uh, professional time, uh, lawyers and accountants and, and our corporate secretary, uh, you know, to maintain, uh, maintain the listing on the TSX Venture Exchange. I think it'll simplify our life a lot as, as the issuer, and I think uh, it will not affect in the least uh, the liquidity um, of the uh, market in KWG shares that our shareholders are accustomed to. In fact, the opposite may be true. Yeah, share, shareholders don't miss a beat. Uh, as a company, you get increased flexibility in doing the things you need to do. And uh, at the, and ultimately, all, probably most importantly of all, at the end of the day, uh, KWG ends up saving uh, a lot more money, uh, which is valuable to shareholders and use that money for, for more important things. Absolutely, and, and it, it extends to many, many tens of thousands of dollars on an annual basis. Many. Yeah, and, and I want uh, I want to bring up something earlier when you talk about the the word delist and the you know how people might be. The, the same would be true if you were graduating to the New York Stock Exchange. So if and when KWG becomes this big, massive global cro chromite uh, conglomerate, um, yeah. it may find itself graduating to the New York Stock Exchange one day, for example. Uh, you, had you been the TSX Venture Exchange, you would still be delisting yeah, and very, graduating to the New York Stock Exchange. So it's not, it doesn't mean anything. It just means you're leaving and going, off to, going on to greener pastures. A very good point, George. And, and um, actually, we've, we've contemplated um, a number of times over the last few years uh, um, moving up to the, the senior board of the TSX uh, Stock Exchange um, because we do qualify. Um, except now we don't qualify because they too have a minimum minimum uh, market valuation and minimum share um, price that uh, is required. But you're absolutely right. If we moved up to the TSX uh, senior board or to the New York Stock Exchange, we would have to delist from the TSX Venture Exchange, and we would have to announce that we were doing that, uh, just as we did on Friday, um, 
but it, you know, a, a little bit, uh, we're, we're doing a lateral move here rather than a step up, but right. uh, you, you make a very good point. Do you have an estimated time? So here we are on St. Patrick's Day, 2015. Um, do you know when this process will be finalized, uh, the delisting and then the, uh, and then the continued trading on the uh, Canadian Security Exchange? Um, I think it'll take a few weeks. I hope it's over by the end of the week. So, a, few, so a few days, you mean? Uh, a, few a few days. Weeks. Sorry, a few days, yeah. yeah right, yeah. right. All right. So, if, And as far as shareholders, uh, they'll open up their brokerage accounts, their online trading accounts, their KWG resources shares are still there, and they want to buy and sell. Nothing, nothing changes. Just a brand, it's just a new market now. Absolutely correct. All right. Well, I want to thank you, Frank, for taking the time out to uh, to speak to everybody, clarify that, provide some uh, some comfort and reassurance, and um, uh, we're looking forward to the next interview when we actually start talking about uh, the great things going on at KWG and next steps. Thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity. Good to talk. You've been watching Frank Smeek. He's President and CEO of KWG Resources. The trade on the stock symbol KWG, and you're going to find them on the Canadian Securities, Canadian Securities Exchange, the CSE, uh, over the next couple of days. Uh, looking forward to uh, watching trading commencing, watching shareholders uh, uh, have their liquidity, and then talking to Frank about the uh, about next steps. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.